We're back with another roundabout Fed Cup here in Esartokum Dosh. Uh, we're going to go to the Fed Cup dinner tonight, and we're in an antechamber with some pretty fantastic paintings around here, and we'll see who we can find to talk to inside. Yako Elting, uh, you have played a few Canadians in your day. I assume there's one you played more than all the other ones. Well, actually, uh, it was always Grant Connell who played with the American player Pat Galbraith. Uh, actually, uh, in Holland, not far from here in Eindhoven, he uh, kicked our butt in the finals of the World Doubles Championships. Uh, so it was kind of a shame for us to lose in our home on our, on our home turf. And Daniel Nestor, I, I played a lot against him as well. Actually, I also played with him once. Oh, did you? So, uh, did you win the tournament? Uh, no, we actually ended up losing to the Woodbridge and Woodford in the finals, oh. which is not a shame at that no, time. That's for sure. Yeah, so no, I've had my fair share of Canadians uh, uh, during my professional career. Yeah. And what's Jaco Elting up to these days? Well, I'm the technical director for the Dutch Federation. So I'm working for the Federation and uh, running all the programs for the juniors and all the pros. And at the same time, I'm responsible for all the tennis coaches. And together with my two colleagues, I'm also running uh, the Federation as a whole. So uh, I'm involved in Dutch tennis still. Is it your fault if the uh, Fed Cup women lose this weekend? Uh, no, then it's always the players' fault. You know, if we win, it's my it's my achievement. No, of course not. It's a it's a responsibility, I think, for everybody and uh, as a team, and not only the people who are playing or are sitting on the bench. I think, as a country, you will notice in the next couple of days, you'll see a lot of orange, and the whole orange, uh, you know, festival will try to beat the Canadians. All right, thanks for talking to us. Sure, no problem. Kirsty Bugert, uh, how many times did you play Fed Cup? Do you know? I played uh, 10 years in total, uh, 29 times, with a positive win-loss record, thank God. <laughs> Very good. And how much more nervous were you when you were playing Fed Cup than you were playing a regular tournament? Uh, more nervous, more nervous, because you're not playing for yourself, you're playing for your country, for your team. Uh, in the normal weeks, if you lose, it's just you that, that's hurting, but, then, but if you lose for your, for your team, Especially if the choice is tight between you and another player, you really want to win because you don't want to disappoint your team members. So um, I was more nervous playing for my country. Yeah. And so you're the hostess tonight for the Fed Cup dinner. Yes. How nervous are you about that? And what special <laughs> lines do you have? Have you set up some funny uh, stories to tell? Well, the fact that you're asking me how many years I've played, I looked that up this morning. Um, well, I'm nervous because it's something new. Uh, I do work for television, but um, it's always different if you talk in front of people. It's a, it's a very nice um, uh, room where we're in, uh, so the acoustic is nice. I tested everything. Um, but yeah, I'm nervous, but we'll see. Well, I'm sure you'll do very well. <laughs> Thank you. Stefan Franzen, you're the referee for this tie. Are you expecting a lot of explosive things when Canada plays the Netherlands? I don't think so. I'm not really expecting that. I'm <laughs> what if we arrange? What if we arrange for some big problems? Well, then we'll deal with them. Uh, this is a funny question, but you were uh, the referee for many years at Roland Garros for yes. the French Open. What would have been the most difficult situation you can recall having uh, as the referee at the French Open? Uh, I think there are always difficult situations. We had a couple of default situations during the years I was there. Um, Outdoor tennis, uh, without lights, there are always situations at the end of the days where it's difficult. You know, do you want to continue, do you want to stop, who's got the momentum, etc. And what about doing a Davis Cup tie as compared to a Fed Cup, Fed Cup tie? Is there any difference? Not really. I think it's a lot more depending on where you are. You know, as we all know, some countries in the world it's more difficult with the crowd than in others. How do you feel about uh, at a clay court event, you don't have Hawkeye, so you have to go and, and judge the mark? Uh, how much trickier is that? Uh, well, it gives the chair umpires a little bit of exercise to go up and down. Um, but I think in terms of reading the marks, if you're an experienced clay court umpire, I really believe that that's better than Hawkeye. Really? What, what if the ball is just as close as you can imagine to the line? but maybe not touching, but you think some of the fiber on the ball would have touched the line. Do you call that ball in or out? Well, normally if you don't see any space on the clay between, you would call it in. Yeah. It sometimes can be very tricky. If it's yeah. very... But it's the same with Hawkeye, you know. You know you've, it's going to be called one way or the other, but there is a small tolerance there as well. Right. You just have to go with your, you know, normally you would only go with the call of the line on
Michael Downey, uh, we're here at the uh, Fed Cup dinner. What's the key to giving a good party, a good tennis party? <laughs> well, I think it's a mixture of people, and it's great when two nations come together. I've just had the pleasure of meeting some of the board members from the Netherlands, some of the, uh, the government officials that are here, and it's special to be part of that. And it's one of the great things about our sport being so global that you get to actually meet people from other nations who love our sport. So why did you quit the LTA and come back to Canada? You, you, were you that homesick? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? There is truth to the saying, you appreciate things more when you're away. And um, I'm not sure I appreciate the minus 20 degree weather last week, but I do appreciate being home in Canada. And quite frankly, if I can, I can run on here, it's great to come back and know you've got a Bianca, you got a Felix, you got a Dennis. We've got great young kids coming up, supporting the top players that have supported the country for the last decade. I mean, you were here for six, seven years when Milos came along and then Jeannie Bouchard came along. I mean, you must feel awfully fortunate now with Bianca and Felix and Dennis. It's just incredible. They're, they're probably maybe even more promising than the first group. Absolutely. Like, I think as a nation, we saw the benefits of Milos and Jeannie, not only on the high performance side, but they actually sparked growth and participation. And now we're seeing what's called ignition where that next generation that was inspired by Milos and Jeannie are breaking through. And I think you're right. I think Bianca, Dennis and Felix might get to higher levels faster than maybe Milos and, and Jeannie did, only because they're the next generation. So if they do that, will you throw a big tennis party? Absolutely. Like, you know what? I, I said in one of the other interviews a few weeks ago that crossing my fingers, we could have six or eight players in the top 100 singles by the end of the year. That's an amazing feat for this country. It's going to inspire the next generation to not only want to follow them in the high performance, but also just get up and pick up a racket and play recreational tennis. It's a great time to be part of Canadian tennis. Yes, it is. Thanks for dropping yeah. by. Because you're in charge of putting this thing on, the dinner, at the event, the tie this weekend. Yeah. Um, how difficult is that? It's a, it's a challenge. It's not difficult. But uh, we have to think about a lot of things. And, yeah. uh, I'm a bit experienced. I do this since nine years. Yeah. It's my tenth uh, Davis Cup Fed Cup tie, yeah. so uh, but still a challenge. There's everyone. nothing different about Canada against the Netherlands in Fed Cup, or does every tie have something special about it? Uh, yeah, also with Canada, uh, the liberation with Canada and the uh, Second World War is uh, one of uh, the, the friendship we have with each other. Um, so we are very uh, uh, pleasured that you are here. So if you have this liberation, this friendship with Canada, does that mean you will lose this weekend? Uh, I don't say that. It's, it's up to the teams. It's up to the teams. We're signing off from the Fed Cup dinner at the Nord Brabant Museum, a very impressive room.